Should you use a Mac or a PC for live streaming? Let's talk about it here on this episode. Hello everyone and welcome to The Production Room. My name is Nick Polkowski and this is a weekly show. Every 10 a.m., every Sunday at 10 a.m. it releases. And today I just wanna simply sit down and talk to you about if you should be using a Mac or a PC when you're running your live streams. To be honest, years ago, this would have been a clear distinction. The PC went out, no problem. Um, but lately with Apple Silicon, with a bunch of other things, the gap is definitely closing, but I do still think there are some important and key differences depending on what you are doing. Now, all of those, that to say, um, and I do wanna throw out all kinds of caveats here that I am actually a Mac person. I am an Apple diehard, I have Macs, I have, iPhones, I have all this, the latest Apple gear pretty much. Um, I definitely, the house runs on um, HomeKit, on Apple HomeKit. Um, so definitely prefer Macs in my day-to-day -day usage. However, when it comes to streaming for client events specifically, I tend to lean towards PCs. Now, there are several different reasons why. That's what I wanna go into in this video because that might not necessarily be the right decision for you, um, but I do wanna jump in and talk a little bit about that and just give you a little idea of where I'm coming from with a lot of these things. I am absolutely in the Mac and in the Apple camp, um, but still tend to use PCs for client uh, productions. So let's talk just a little bit about um, what we're doing in terms of Macs being able to stream. So I have been using this one to stream. This is a old, little bit older MacBook, um, not too crazy old, just basically right before at the Apple Silicon. I forget exactly the year, um, but it's not an Apple Silicon, uh, so it's not an M1 or M2 or anything like that, uh, but it's still definitely powerful enough to run some basic live streams. And by basic, I'm talking, you're bringing in a camera, an external camera through um, some type of capture device, um, you have an external audio and then possibly bringing in uh, like a PowerPoint or playing a video or something like that. If you, if that's what your production consists of, that's all it consists of, you can absolutely, in my opinion, use any of the relatively new Macs. And when you jump to the M1 or the M2, things get just continue to improve there. There are lots of really great productions that are, have multiple inputs, multiple other elements that are running like a Mac Studio or uh, an Apple, uh, like the MacBook Pro, the new M1s a line of that, that can absolutely be handled by Apple. And for that, I would highly recommend the software Ecamm. If you're interested in learning more about Ecamm, let me know. I am uh, getting ready to start a little series here on Ecamm. Um, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to uh, sign up for the newsletter. I'm gonna see, leave a little uh, I'll leave the URL here in the description, right up at the top. Sign up for that newsletter. That will make sure you're the first to know when those series drops. Um, that's really going to be a deep dive into Ecamm and all that that offers. Uh, but jumping back there, the Mac is a little bit limited, basically from the graphics, from the GPU side. Uh, if you are going beyond having multiple cameras or even bringing in multiple external capture cards or just want, honestly, a little bit more professional high quality software where you can basically do whatever you want, that's where you need to jump to the PC world. Um, and part of it has to do purely with the software. Um, for me, that the, especially right now, Ecamm's, while making leaps and bounds, it's vastly improving. It's continuing to get better all the time. Uh, they're doing, I love the people over there, they're doing a lot of great work, making things really, really improving things. Uh, when it comes to a professional quality switching software, that is still vMix in my opinion. Hands down, that's the way to go. Not, not OBS, not any of that, oh, that too finicky. Uh, vMix is the best in my opinion. Um, and it allows you to be infinitely flexible for the kind of productions that I do. A lot of times we are bring, I am bringing along some external switchers or some external things, things like the ATEM Mini or the, um, Blackmagic TV producer, TV producer, I forget the exact title of it, exact name of it, but oftentimes I am bringing along some more professional hardware, but vMix is essentially the backbone that these streams run on um, when I am getting paid for it, when I'm, it needs to go out, it needs to look professional, it needs to, to be reliable. 
Um, so that's why really a PC comes in. And honestly, I think that is a little bit of your line. If you are most comfortable using Macs uh, and you're just doing something, say, for your YouTube channel or something along those lines, you have simple one input, maybe uh, maybe a couple, you can maybe push two cameras if you, depending on what you're going, or if you're running uh, into like an ATEM, then you're able to add a little few extra cameras um, because the hardware is doing a lot of the switching and your computer doesn't have to handle that. Um, that's that's the line in my opinion is you're able to uh, do that a lot of the the streams you'll see here on this channel specifically um, I have several planned here with that launch that new ecam series um, you're going to be seeing me stream from the Mac again this is a this is an older Mac uh, in turn it's I think a 2019 I believe um, so it's still capable it can definitely run those streams uh, but it, whenever I jump to anything that a client is paying me for that needs to be produced high quality, that needs to be reliable, that is going to have multiple inputs, multiple NDI inputs, the PC is the way to go. And I do highly recommend kind of the Alienware line um, if you're looking for a specific PC recommendations. If you want specific PC recommendations, let me know in the comments. Um, be happy to give some of those. But I tend to lean towards the Alienware line. Um, some of their higher end gaming uh, laptops specifically, um, just because of most of my productions need to be pretty mobile. We're traveling around conference to conference. Uh, so I want a laptop versus a desktop, um, which also tends to limit what I do for the Mac side as well. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on Mac versus PC. I would love to hear your opinions. Leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.